And we're honored to have Pip Williams, uh, who's a phenomenal photographer, world-renowned, has traveled around the world shooting spreads for numerous magazines and also featured in magazines. Uh, and, and, a, and an amazement of countries, Brazil. Pep, welcome to the yeah, show. Thank man. you, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is very, very cool. I'd like to talk Super about the to travel right into it, and we'll get into oh. the bones of photography. Yeah. Um, you're ready to do a gig, and you have your method. Were you ever in a country where something wasn't supplied? And I'm talking, was it maybe batteries or something got in the way and really made it challenging? How did you overcome it? Um, I think, well, that's happened even locally. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like in Santa Monica, like I've forgotten my memory cards or even my camera. Oh, my some gosh. Shoots. It's, it's been wow. so funny. But actually, on the road, everything is always good. You know, it's more so here because I'm You're double and triple checking, and, yeah, yeah. You, yeah quadruple check-in on the road but right yeah. right um you've actually had the opportunity to work over at the Autry museum in los angeles amazing amazing, amazing. peterson museum you just yes. had a wonderful photo shoot there do you ever get on site and feel i mean we can talk a little bit about technicals and lightings but you're you're prepared but you ever what do you tell somebody that's getting ready for a photo shoot and they're being photographed a lot of youngsters are just getting started yeah. started in that arena how do you calm the individual that may be a little nervous well first you almost have to kind of know their personality because of course your average person is kind of nervous and then when the camera's on them super stiff and i like to shoot people how i see you which is normal calm we're like hanging out so I've had times where I said, hey, take a nap, or hey, let's just go to the mall and go grab a soda or something like that, just to get them in that comfortable space, really with youngsters. Yeah. Because you think we self-monitor. I mean, there's some of that going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to calm them down because it'll look stiff on the, on the camera. But it's just like with me, uh, when I hang out, shoot, it's always a relaxed environment or it's not going to happen yeah. because that's my work. And right. if it's not cool, then it's a reflection on my work as well. So I tend to. So it's not the, it not only the skill set behind you know uh, color and, and lighting and things. It's really how do I get this template, if you will, yeah. to relax and be in the moment. There's so so many combinations, and for me, yeah. it's all about having the, the environment calm. Be it two people on set to upwards of thirty people. Talk to us about some of the uh, interesting characters that you've. Uh, Good friends as well, right? You, you meet so many people in the industry. Yeah. Uh, give us a run the last few months. Uh, who's been some of your subject, subject of work well, art? Well, the latest thing I just shot, the last shoot I did was actually uh, for Adidas. I'm shooting their um, 2021 winter campaign. Okay. So I had to get some models. I hate that. It so wait a minute, your task, you, you got to actually seek out and hire models. Well, it's the first time that um, okay. Adidas is actually doing this okay. because of COVID and they can't travel. And sure. I, like I'm usually in Germany at this time shooting. Right. right. So they sent me the product and um, they said, okay, we'll, we'll try it. So I just thinking, hmm, who are some models? I don't deal with agencies. I don't deal with that stuff. I just go to my, my friend's kids. <laughs> I love it. That's Good organic. Enough. Yeah. So it's cool and it's comfortable right because the the uh, consumer the customer can read it through the image right right yeah. known as the freshest kind of raw when you show up and you're <laughs> taking some photos a friend of mine said that and i'm all that's really cool I it like is cool i've seen some of your work and is there anything right now that you're salivating for you know especially like covid you know we just come down out of this yes. lockdown some of us had to really kind of reinvent maybe center ourselves you know, and True. get, you know, yeah. get to know our families. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, um, what are you aiming for right now as a, as a target that you really would love to do a shootout? At? Well, well, for me, I have maybe a few. One, it's been, it's been six years now. I've been trying to get it. For instance, the prison, to shoot inside the prisons took me over four years to right, get it. Right, right. But I've been trying to um, shoot at the Vatican. To actually shoot the Pope. That would be incredible. Yeah. And I've already, for the past, I guess, five years, letters written in both email, and then I finally got an assistant. So uh, they said he's only available on Wednesdays, and 
So you, but he's always over. You got that next step, at least. So it there's a calendar took, maybe working. Took me six years, so wow, wow. I'm not going to stop. I'm crazy persistent, and right, that's just right. one of the things. I like shooting things people don't really think about. I'm not trying to shoot fashion all day or shoot this all day. I, I shoot things what I like and things that I like the challenge. Yeah. Time doesn't matter to me. It's like. Okay, it's going to take me 10 years to get this. Let's do it. Because once I get it... That's tenacity. That's like an image. Sure. Yeah. Because my work is to educate like 100 years from now. Right. I want you guys to check out pepwilliams.com. Yeah. Uh, and of course on Instagram, if you're catching this, you really need to... Instagram is an amazing format, obviously, for, for photos yeah, and, and so on. Um, has social media brought you a whole different element of expansion? I say this because a lot of our youngsters, you got to perfect your craft. If you can even use yeah. the word perfection. I don't yeah. think we ever, as artists, we don't. But Instagram is up the level for so many. But it's, if you're not bringing that value trade, then it's just vanity. True. Yeah, for me, it upped it as far as fan base. But as far as work, no. Right. Because it's still that one-on-one -on -one right. person to person right. thing. Right. You were recently featured in the Drive magazine, of course. It was uh, so cool. Talk to us about that experience. Man. It was really fun. Um, I, I hit up Fireball and I said, hey, let's um, do something cool. And then he's like, what? I said, I would love to shoot you at uh, the Peterson. And uh, because you, of course, designed the Batman, this and that. And then he's like, cool, let me uh, contact Bruce. So Bruce said yes. And there it is. We had so much fun. Yeah. Um, we'll get some tight shots, but you guys can see Pep Williams, uh, the freshest kind of raw. Awesome. Uh, uh, you you see the cat? You see the cat that coined that term? I'm sure you think <laughs> of every time because that that's yeah, you, yeah. man. Yeah, that's it, you. like he coined it. I think back in like 2000, maybe four or 2005, yeah. and I've always used it on my website since then. What's the uh, future for you? I know you were talking Vatican. Is there anything right now that that really challenges you to get to next level? I think it's um, more of getting my work more in uh, other museums, like things like that. Um, actually, my work is already part of the curriculum at certain colleges, so it's really, really cool and more in that realm. I'm I thought sure. I had read something. Didn't you do some uh, work at a college level as an instructor I, or as a oh no, sort just, of a just I'm speaking, visiting? I speak okay. at colleges all nice. over. Yeah. Nice. But to have it actually in their work. This right here was my crowning moment of my childhood because back in kindergarten I used to draw the Gypsy Rose um, from TV because a 64 is so yeah. impossible I mean it's very easy to draw right let me show this for our viewers here of course we'll get some tight shots but tell us about Gypsy Rose that was uh... yeah well that's my friend uh, Jesse's car and, right. uh, and um, he passed um, not too long ago oh, and wow. So, but his father made it, and this was actually on the opening credits of Chico and the Man. Oh, the yeah. The TV show from yeah. back in the 70s. Yeah. So when I was five years old, it was my favorite show. And I, and you only Same saw here. It I love Chico and the Man. For a split second, <laughs> right. you could see it, but I remembered it. And yeah. I've met every celebrity in the world, pretty much. It doesn't phase me. When he lifted that garage and opened that car, I was beyond starstruck. I'm I mean, stunned. it was... Yeah. Yeah. This is, has been haunting me my whole life. So I said, I want to do something cool. And so, because it was sitting in the garage, it was collecting dust, it was this and that. I said, let's try to get this back out in the public. Yeah. So I took some images, I got it out there, then other people started shooting it more and more. And now it's at, at the Peterson. That's awesome. So it's really cool. And it then of course you have the series Behind Bars. Oh, uh, which is displayed yeah. at the Autry Museum in LA. If you guys are in Southern California, you definitely want to catch that. Uh, and Pep, where can finds, uh, folks find you uh, online? Oh, you can find me at pepwilliams.com and on Instagram at pepwilliams and Twitter pep underscore Williams. Awesome. Before we cut away, I'm young. I'm coming out of high school. Mom and Dad said, you know what? you got to head to college. You got to have a skill set, but this individual wants to carve out a career as a creative. What advice would you give them regarding all of the no's you can't? How did you handle that when you were coming up? I lived a life of no's. 
it was very little support I had. It's just you have to, like the people you're around, you have to see things um, to encourage you. You have to have examples of people that, that do it. Me coming up as a pro skater, as a kid, I couldn't do it if I wasn't around it constantly. And then I just loved to tour. And then as I was getting older, I couldn't tour as much on my board. Sure. So I switched it over to photography. But as far as your art, your talent, never let it go. Like, always pursue it. Because if you stop, you'll always think, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, and you go back in time.